So we're going to look at some of the basic arithmetic operators that are available in Python. And in order to do that, we're just going to use the Python shell and evaluate some simple arithmetic expressions and make sure that we understand how these operators work, especially with respect to the different data types that we've already talked about. So in Python, we have the typical arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Um, addition and subtraction are going to work pretty much as you would expect. 3 plus 4 gives me 7. Uh, 5 minus 2 gives me 3. And of course, if we use floating point numbers, 4.5 plus uh, 2.3, we're going to get 6.8. And notice that if I say 4.5 plus 2, I still get a floating point number. So when I mix different data types, floating points and integers, the result is typically going to be a floating point number. When I do an arithmetic operation with two integers, the result is typically going to be an integer. If I have floating point numbers, the result is going to be floating point. The plus operator, the um, subtraction operator, the multiplication operator, going to work very similarly. It's the star. 4 times 3 gives me 12. 4.5 times 2.5, 11.25. And of course, if I say 4.5 times 2, um, notice I get 9.0. Because 4.5 is a floating point number, when I multiply anything that is a floating point, I end up with a result that is a floating point. The only arithmetic operation that's really a little tricky is the division operation. Division is typically going to be denoted by the, the slash and so if I say for example 5 divided by 2 I get 2.5 and that's exactly what we would expect. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. Two um, notice however that in this case 5 and 2 are both integers but the result turns out to be a floating point number. In other words, the single slash is what we commonly think of as being floating point division. Now what if I said 4 divided by 2? Notice I get 2.0. It's still a floating point number. So division by default is going to take its operands and provide me with a floating point result. 5.3 divided by uh, 6.7 uh, and you can see the floating point result there. There is a variation on the division operation called integer division. Integer division will take two integers, for example, 5 and 2, and the integer division operator is double slash. And if I say 5 integer divide 2, what that's going to do is provide me with a result that is actually an integer. And notice that it's the biggest integer without the fractional part. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. The integer part of that is 2. So if I say 13 integer divide 4, I get 3. Why? Because 3 times 4 is 12, and of course there's 1 left over. So the best that we can do is to give a result of 3 if we're going to stay as an integer. Now, of course, if I say 13 divided by 4 using real division, the answer is actually 3.25. Now, because we have integer division, which just gives me the integer portion of the result, we also have a corresponding operation to give me back the remainder. And the remainder operator is the percent symbol. And so, for example, if I say 13 divided by 4 give me the remainder, you can see that I get 1. If I say 5 divided by 2, give me the remainder, again I get 1. Notice that 5 divided by 3, give me the remainder, results in 2. Why? 5 divided by 3, 3 goes into 5 one time with 2 left over. If I say 5 divided by 5, give me the remainder, well 5 goes into 5 one time with 0 left over. And in fact, the remainder operator is actually very, very useful because the remainder operator will always give a result between 0 
and one less than the number that you're dividing by. So if we're dividing by 5, then the possible range of values that we can get as a result is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. That remainder operator will come in very, very handy. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, but division, we have floating point division by default, and then the double slash gives us integer division, and that means we also then have an operator, the remainder operator, that will give us back the integer result upon uh, integer division.